do not get caught up in thinking about winning or losing this game. If you put your effort and concentration into playing to your potential, we will win. Let's show them what this team is made of. It's cutting loops on 2K Sports. The LaSalle Explorers square up against the Philadelphia Wildcats. We should have a great one in store for you today. Welcome, everyone. We're here at the Pavilion. This is Vern Lundquist with Bill Raftery and Bonnie Bernstein. Give us your take, Bill. There's a terrific matchup at the small forward position. Number 35 is a fantastic player. He's got tremendous hops, and I'm sure it won't be long before we see him send it in with reckless abandon. Number one is a top-notch small forward in his own right. This guy has such a will to win. He plays the game with joy, and he never stops working to improve. Both of them are great competitors. It should be a compelling game to watch. The Explorers control the tip-off, and we'll get this one started. And it looks like they'll start the game in Menemet. Lobs it to the middle. Number 42 backs him down. Number 34 passes it to the left side. Number one catches it on the corner. That last shot netted for three. Even against an average score, the defense has to be more aware. Absolutely, Vern. Now let's check in with the third member of our team, Bonnie Bernstein. Bonnie? Vern, earlier today I talked with Coach Wright of the Wildcats, and he told me the biggest concern tonight is the other team's speed. He said, we know what we're up against, and so there aren't any excuses. If we don't hustle back on D every time out, they'll be dropping layups on us the entire game. Thank you, Bonnie. Outside. Number 11, catches it, top of the key. Number 34, swings it to the right wing. Number 11, with the shot, gets nothing but net. Number 50, inbounds the ball. Outside, unloads. The three-pointer hit by number one. Great delivery with the skip pass. That set up the shot perfectly. Deflected, and it's scooped up by number 34. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Number 34 for the lead on the money. Terrific move, Vern, for a guy who's known for his low post game. Beats it to the outside. Number 42. Skips it to the perimeter. Number one. Catches it outside. Number 42. Backs him down. Gets the bucket. That's usually a little out of his range, but it didn't matter to him this time. Under 18 minutes left in the half. Gets it, right wing. Number 35, dishes to the perimeter. Collected inside by number 35. Fires from 11 feet out. Dropped in by number 34. This guy is fun to watch, Vern. He can really fill it up. Outside, passes back to the outside. Number one, dumps it off. Stolen away. And it's a two-point game. Not a good decision, Vern. You can't just go ahead and force it inside like that. Number 11. Passes cross court. It's picked off by number one. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Last basket was made by number 12. About 16 and a half minutes left in the half. Number 11, 
Gets it left wing. The last shot fell through. He did a nice job of determining what the defense gave him, and he took it. We see it so often, that area from 10 to 15 being the sweet spot. Stolen away by number 11. Pass down low. It drops. Let's see that play again on the power bar triple threat replay. What a competitor. This is a one-man show. Number 34 inbounds the ball. It's a two-point differential. Number 35 gets it on the free throw line. Number one misses, but he'll get two shots from the line. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Knocks Whoa. down the first one. And he splits the free throws. The Explorers can tie it with a three. Number 34 bounces it to the left. Number 11 lost track of his position and stepped on the out-of-bounds line. That is a turnover. Under 16 minutes left in the half. Outside. Number one from downtown. Nope. Number 42. Fought for that rebound. That's some toughness for you. Swings it to the outside. Number 11. Beats it to the outside. Number 11 has it on the inside to tie. The offensive rebound corralled by number 42. They recover it. Number 11 catches it right side. Number 42 dishes to the perimeter. Stolen away by Villanova. Number 35 goes up. A huge dunk to polish off the break. There's just no way they're going to keep up with him in there. Number two inbounds the ball. It's a five-point game. They're playing man-to-man -man here, Vern. Left side. Passes to the outside. Number 11. Beats it to the left side. From the wing. Reeled in by number 34. About 14 and a half minutes left in the half. Number Banked in by number one. Number one gets it outside. Lead pass, top of the key. Number 42 to Number stop the 42. drought. Count it. Every scouting report will tell you this guy can drill it. Give him an inch of room and say goodnight. Number 50. Picked off. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Last shot missed by number 11. And it's a four-point game. Number 50. Grab that rebound with his elbows high, using a little intimidation. Gets it out left. Number 35. Hands it off. Unloads. Great move, and it's canned by number 50. I use the whole shot clock when you only need a few seconds, right? Just over 13 minutes left in the half. Number 34. Swings it to the outside. Baseline. Number 42, backs down. The up and under. Number 12, corrals the miss inside. Number 12, grabbed that rebound with his elbows high, using a little intimidation. Dishes it to the outside. Number 50, backs him down. Number 12, from deep. Number one, pulls it in. Number one, with a great offensive rebound there. He worked so hard to establish position. Bounces it to the baseline. From downtown. 
ripped down inside by number 35. Stolen away by number 42. You have to make sure you've got the room to move the ball or else you're playing right into the hands of the defense. Knocks it loose, but it's recovered by number 12. It's a four-point ball game. Number 50 has it top of the key. Pass out left. Number 50 takes it in. Gently drops it in. LaSalle is really struggling to close down the middle. Bonnie has something for us. Bonnie? Coach Giannini was yelling onto the court, I want to see bodies banging in the paint. Coach is pretty frustrated about all the high percentage shots his team's allowed underneath. All right, Bonnie. Number 11 gets it on the perimeter. Number 34 passes to the perimeter. Number 34 is going to be hit with the blocking call. That's his first foul. You can't shuffle those feet and expect to draw a charge. The ref saw right through that. on the court. Baseline. Beats it to the perimeter. Number one. Skips it to the baseline. Number three, gets it to fall. If I'm the defender, and I know this guy can make my life miserable, I'd body up on him, right? Definitely, Vern. You've got to play harder than that. Number 34, catches it outright. Nice touch on that last three by number one. What I like is his ability to see the floor and get it to the guys where they can do something with it. Extremely accurate. And it's a seven-point game. left from 18 feet away rebounded by number 34 that's his third rebound of the contest don't count on him missing too many of those especially when they're playing off him like that number one zero dumps it off catches it on the perimeter number 12 dishes it to the left wing To the paint. Zero. Shoots. Misses, but he'll get two shots from the line. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. And he makes the first. He gets them both. It's a nine-point spread. Swings it to the perimeter. Number one. Passes it to the perimeter. The last tray was cashed in by number 11. I don't know how we got that wide open. The D needs a wake-up call. Under 10 minutes left in the half. Swing pass outside. Number 50. Takes the shot. Can't get it to fall from downtown. Deflected, but it's recovered by LaSalle. Shoots the turnaround. Number 15. Fought for that rebound. That's some toughness for you. Number one. Backs down. Dumps it off. Has it top of the key. Number 12. Dishes to the outside. Outside. Passes to the right. Number 12. Yes! That's too easy, Vern. If the defense expects to stop them, they've got to get out there on them. The Explorers will take their first time out.
Coach Wright is making a lineup change, and this might be a great decision. Some of these players play great together, and it's a nine-point game. Feeds it to the perimeter. Number 12 gets it baseline. Raises up. Number 50 grabs the rebound. The Wildcats can push their lead to double digits. Lead pass, left block. Stolen away by LaSalle. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. Last shot laid in by number 12. You know he's not missing that one. The D needs to try and keep with them, Vern. Number 35 inbounds the ball. Tipped away. And it's scooped up by number 5. Number 12. Can't get the 3 to 4. Just over 8 minutes left in the half. Gets it out left. Backs down. Number 50 with the shot. Nails it from 9 feet. I think these fans are getting excited, Burn. They're making some noise now. Left side. Dishes it to the top of the key. Number 34. Passes far side. Fires. The turnaround shot was off the mark by number 12. Don't count on him missing too many of those, especially when they're playing off him like that. Number three has it on the perimeter. Number 34 backs down. Passes right wing. Snatched down by number 42. It's a nine point spread. The crossover, number 12, hands it off. Number 42 fires the three. Number 34 grabs it, and that's his fourth rebound thus far. Credit the defense there. They got out on him, and they forced him to rush it a little. Gets it, right wing. Number 35, skips it to the right side. Right wing. Bounces it to the right side. Number three. Feeds it to the outside. Number 35, behind the arc. Number 50, gets the offensive rebound. Terrific rebound. That's how you get into position on the offensive class. Number 34 has it left side. Top of the key. Number 35. Beyond the arm. The putback was dumped down by number 34. Coach Giannini saw something out there and he wants to make some adjustment. He burned his time out to get his players' attention. Going to make some substitutions. Gets it on the perimeter. Number three swings it to the outside. Baseline. Backs in. Dishes it to the perimeter. Number three shoots. Cuts the lead to single digits. He can fill it up as well as anybody out there, Vern. A wonderful touch on this fella. Number 35 inbounds the ball. The Wildcats with a chance for a double-digit lead. Passes it to the high post. Number 23 catches it right wing. Skip pass, perimeter. Can't extend the lead to double digits. And it's a nine-point game. Number 11, knocks it loose, but it's recovered by number 42. 
No good on the last layup by number three. LaSalle has been on the losing end of the rebound battle, and Bonnie is near their bench with a report. Coach Giannini looks like he's about to lose it, guys. He turned to the bench, threw his arms up, and said to nobody in particular, Why do we bust our butts in practice if we're just going to roll over during the game? Thanks, Bonnie. Right around five minutes left in the half. Gets it, cross court. Number two, backs him down, fires. His first shot is good. Way to square up off the quick turnaround. That's how you do it, Vern. Number 50, feeds it to the perimeter. Number 23, hits the tray. That's not their favorite play to run, but they love it when it goes down. Number 42, inbounds the ball. 10 points separating the teams. Outside. Swings it to the outside. Number 11. One on one. Hands it off. Dishes to the wing. Number one. Shoots the three. It falls. That's how you answer. Give up a three and then get it right back. The steal by number three. Shoots the turnaround. Perfect shot by number 11. Solid. Wide open. That is just not a shot this fella's going to miss. Under four minutes left in the half. Stolen by number three. Number 42 takes it up. Number 35 grabs the rebound. Ooh, tried to kiss. With the jam. Poke loose, and it's scooped up by number 33. The finisher. The layup was finished by number one. The Explorers all timeout. will get the rest of their starters back on the court. And it's an eight-point game. Number 41 has it on the perimeter. Lead pass, baseline. Number two backs him down. Number 35 gets the board inside. The Wildcats can push their lead to double digits. Gets it outside. Couldn't make it a double-digit lead on the miss by number one. 248 left in the first half. Number 11 passes it to the baseline. Outside. Skips it to the right wing. Number 11 backs him down. The Explorers will get this one back. Great job to get a hand on that one. That's why it's so important to stay active on defense. Number 41 had his pass go out of bounds, and they will give the ball up. These players don't look like they enjoy playing together at the moment, Fern. And that pass illustrates what I'm talking about. Number 35 inbounds the ball, and it's an eight-point game. Number 50 dumps it off. Feeds it to the outside. Number 34 has it baseline. Pass perimeter. Number one. Number 12 from deep. Can't connect. The D was late getting there, but they got away with it. 
Gets it in the paint. Number two drains it from the paint. Gets it to go with the soft kiss. One fifty left in the first half. Number 12, swings it to the perimeter. Right wing, pulls the trigger. The three-pointer, knocked down by number one. They're really clicking out there, Vern. They're reacting perfectly to each other. Those kind of assists are going to come easy to them if they keep this up. Dishes to the outside. Number two, backs down. The up and under. Finishes in close. Sweetness. They gave him a look and paid for it. A seven-point spread. Passes to the outside. Number one gets it outside. That last triple off the mark. Might have rushed that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got a little over-anxious. Dumps it to the paint. Number 11. Misses the tray. He missed that one, but if they keep leaving him that open, they'll eventually pay for it. Number 35, unload. Hits the jumper. Boy, Vern, defense like that can make a player look unstoppable. Shot clock's winding down. Catches it. Left wing. The three-point attempt missed by number 10. That takes us to halftime with the score 46 to 37. Now it's time to bring you our power bar play of the half. Number one is putting on a show, Vern. If you like offensive fireworks, then you must have had a lot of fun watching this guy in the first half. Whenever he has to get to the bucket, he'll do it. What a warrior. Thanks a lot, Bill. And that's our Power Bar Player of the Half. We're ready to begin the second half. Number 34 inbounds it to start the second half. Number one dumps it off. Number 12 beats it to the outside. Top of the key. Swings it to the perimeter. Deflected, and it's picked up by LaSalle. Let's check in with Bonnie Bernstein. Hey guys, over the break, I talked to Coach Wright of the Wildcats. He's obviously happy there in the driver's seat and was pleased with his team's effort. I asked him about the keys to success in the first half. He said, simply, it's been the way we've been passing the rock. We've done a great job dishing the ball around and setting each other up. Want to see more of that in the second half, Vern? Thank you, Bonnie. Number 12. Dishes to the baseline. Number 35, off the front rim and out. Usually that shot drops every time. I'm not sure what went wrong there. Number 42, gets it outside. Bounce pass, right wing. Rebounded by number 34. Don't count on him missing too many of those, especially when they're playing off him like that. Nice move in the paint on that last shot by number one. Indeed played him close on that one. But he wasn't about to be denied. Pretty move. Number 42 inbounds the ball. Number 11. Catches it on the perimeter. Number 1 lobs it to the baseline. The fadeaway. Rebounded by number 2. Perimeter. Passes to the outside. Number 11 hands it off. Number 34. Swings it to the outside. Number 42 has it baseline. 
Tosses it up. Misses the jumper. The Wildcats can push their lead to double digits. Number one, the 15-footer. Number 42 grabs the rebound. Under 18 minutes left in the second half. Right wing. Number 11 has it right wing. Pulls up from the elbow. Off the glass and out by number two. Villanova is having real turnover problems. Bonnie, you've got something for us on that? Coach Young just asked his assistants about the other team's points off turnovers, and he wasn't real happy with the answer. Coach's response, not really fit for public consumption, Vern. Let's just say he wants to work on it. All right, Bonnie. Foul as he went up, and he'll go to the line for a couple. First team foul. And he makes the first. Gets them both. And it's a seven-point game. Number 12 feeds it to the outside. To the middle. Dishes to the baseline. Number 34 gets the board inside. Flip up and in on that last layup. Look at him, rip it off the glass. You have to put a body on this guy or he'll give his team second chance points all game. Number one, inbounds the ball. Under 17 minutes left in the second half. Number 34. Passes it down low. Number 50 with the block, and it's still a nine-point ball game. It doesn't matter where he is on the court. If he can get to it, he's going to turn it back. Oh, look at the physicality. Powered it through the contact and hit. He completes the three-point play. Number 34 gets it, base lock. Swing pass, outside. Number 11, backs down. Puts too much on it. Right around 16 minutes left in the second half. It's picked off by number two. That's his second steal of the contest. Gets it outside. Number 42, dumps it off. Number 34, beats it to the outside. To the middle, number two, number from close two. range, hits it. Way to make room for himself in there. The defense slacked off just a little and paid for it. Swings it to the left wing. Number 12, dishes to the right side. Number 35, gets it, baseline. Pass, outside. Number one, from 18 feet away, gets it to go. Great delivery with the skip pass. That set up the shot perfectly. LaSalle calls time. Just over 15 minutes left in the second half. Gets it outside. Number 
number one, lobs it to the baseline, but it's recovered by number two. Outside, passes to the right wing. Number 11, good! Big three from beyond the arc. He really gets his legs underneath him to gain great leverage on his jumper. Number 35, inbounds the ball. It's a nine-point spread. Number 34, hands it off. Number 35, dishes to the left side. Number one, gets it, left wing. That last triple off the mark. He got the look he wanted to there, Bill. I wouldn't let him have too many more of those. He can light you up in a hurry. Right wing. Number two. Gets it, right wing. Number 34, swings it to the outside. Outside, they need to get a shot off. There's a real confident shooter. The D was draped all over him, and it didn't even phase him. Feeds it to the outside. Number 35. Passes to the outside with the shot. The three-pointer was missed by number one. A seven-point spread. I like the way he battled for that rebound. So strong. That last basket was nailed by number one. Number 35 inbounds the ball. Just over 13 minutes left in the second half. Number one gets it on the perimeter. Lead pass outside. Number 34. Oh, man. This guy is so good at finding the weakness in the defense and then exploiting it. Gets it right wing. The bucket was drained by number 11. They wasted no time right there. The opportunity was there and they seized it. Number 34, dumps it off. Number 12, dishes to the outside. Perimeter, number 34, from deep, good. That's how you answer, give up a three, and then get it right back. Swings it to the outside. Number 11. Passes to the baseline. To the rim. Number 42. And here's the State Farm drive of the game. This guy is fun to watch, Vern. He can really fill it up. Number 35 inbounds the ball. And it's a five-point game. Number 12 gets it on the elbow. Number 34, fires. Number 34, on the money. That deserves a look on the Power Bar Triple Threat Replay. That's something else. No wonder we're still talking about it. Under 12 minutes left in the second half. Hope three. The Explorers turn this one over out of bounds. The Explorers will bring in some players from off the bench. Number 12, hands it off, behind the arc. Bounced off the front rim by number 34. Number 34, went after that rebound hard. Number 34, gets called for blocking, and that will be his second foul of the game. Number 15, is coming onto the floor. Substitution on the court. Number 12, inbounds the ball. Number two, takes it up, banks it off the glass and in. How much do you like to see that? The kiss. It's a five-point game. Swing pass, left wing. Number 12, gets it, right wing. 
Number 50 beats it to the baseline. Perimeter. Dishes it to the top of the key. Number 34 grabs the rebound. Right around 11 minutes left in the second half. Number three dumps it off. Number 34. Lead pass to the middle. No good on the last layup by number three. Missy layups are going to get him a quick trip to the bench, Fern. Hit it, got fouled, and he'll have a shot at the three-point ball. They're really clicking out there, Vern. They're reacting perfectly to each other. Those kind of assists are going to come easy to them if they keep this up. He completes the three-point play. Number two inbounds the ball, and it's an eight-point game. Number three catches it out left. Number 50 gets whistled for blocking, and that's his first foul of the game. Pass, left wing. Number 12 hands it off. Backs in. Number one raises up. Snaps down inside by number 50. The Wildcats can push their lead to double digits. Stolen. Not a good decision, Vern. You can't just go ahead and force it inside like that. No good on the last layup by number three. I think these fans are getting excited, Vern. They're making some noise now. Gets it outside. Number 15. Swings it to the outside. That last three-pointer was missed by number 12. An eight-point differential. Number 12. Went after that rebound hard. Great work. That last layup was missed by number 34. Outside. Number 50. Takes the three. Tip back up and in. Coach Giannini saw something out there. He wants to make some adjustment. He burned his time out to get his players' attention. are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Number 42 inbounds the ball. Number three dumps it off. Passes it to the wing. Raises up. The lead is still double digits after the miss by number three. And it's a 10-point game. Their rebounding has been terrific, Vern, and that's the main reason they're leading in this game. That last 15 footer is dropped in by number 34. This guy is fun to watch, Vern. He can really fill it up. Right around nine minutes left in the second half. Number 42 to stop the run. Number one snatches it up. Might have rushed that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got a little over-anxious. Number one. Lobs it to the right side. With the fadeaway, it's ripped down for an offensive board by Zero. Zero. Pulled down that offensive board like it was no problem. What a battler. Number 42 gets it left wing. Skip pass to the elbow. Number Last two. basket was made by number two. So wide open, Vern. What's the defense thinking about right there? Number one gets it outright. Zero bounces it to the outside. The steal by number three. Oh, the quick hands. 
before they even knew what hit them. He made off with that one. Number 42 from inside tickles the twine. Oh, yes, that's a fantastic feed to get it down low for the easy deuce. To the middle, dishes to the left wing. Number 12, passes to the outside. Hands it off. Number 34, backs down. To the rack. Number 42, rips it down. And it's an eight-point game. He's giving it all today. He also anticipates the ball coming off the rim, depending on the angle and trajectory. Great work rebounding. Number 11 catches it on the perimeter. That last triple off the mark. Right around seven minutes left in the second half. Zero. Grabbed that rebound with his elbows high, using a little intimidation. Bounce pass, top of the key. Number 23 gets it middle. From the low block, the shot was missed by number 34. Number 42 dumps into the middle. The last layup was dropped in by number two. Oh, yes, Vern, that is pretty pass work. Zero inbounds the ball. Right side. Number one shoots it. Off the mark from 17 feet out. It's a six-point game. Number 12. Grabbed that rebound with his elbows high, using a little intimidation. Beats it to the perimeter. Number three. Number 34. Hauls it in. That's his 12th rebound so far. Dishes to the right side. Number 23. Cannot stop the drought. He just didn't look comfortable on that shot, Fern, and you can see it in the result. Number three has it top of the key. Perimeter unloads. The three-pointer was missed by number 12. About five and a half minutes left in the second half. Number 12. Gets it right side. Number one lobs it to the right side. Number 34. Terrific move. Number 42 cleaves the glass. Couldn't get the friendly kiss. Inside. Passes it to the right wing. Number 42. Dumps it off. Skips it to the perimeter. Number three. Has it outside. That last triple off the mark. Oh, not real good shot selection, Vern. They've got to exercise a little patience and move the ball around. Pass. Right block. And it's an eight-point game. Number 12, from 17 feet out, number 34 gets the board inside. Well, you can't fault him for taking that shot. The defense shouldn't be giving him such an open look. Stolen away by number 12. Gets it middle. Backs in. Number 42 bounces it to the baseline. Last shot missed by number three. Just over four minutes left in the second half. Number 23 grabbed that rebound with his elbows high, using a little intimidation. To the elbow. Number one hands it off. Number 34, the fadeaway. Tried to bank it, but it's no good. That was a much quicker shot than they might have liked, but it was a pretty open look, so it's tough to fault him. The close range shot missed by number three. Beats it to the left side. Number 34 backs down. That last shot off the mark. An eight point differential. Number 11. Number two dumps it off. Swings it to the outside. Number 42 gets it middle. Lead pass outside. Fires the three. It's ripped down by number 42. Terrific rebound. That's how you get into position on the offensive class. Number 42. 
Backs down. Number 34 hauls it down inside. 257 left in the game. Gets it outside. Number 23 dishes to the high post. Stolen away by number three. To the bucket. Finishes the break. Hits it with the kiss. The Wildcats will take a timeout. They're leading by six. 2.41 left in the game. will bring the rest of their starters back on the floor. It's a six-point game. Outside. Passes to the right wing. Number 12. Swings it to the outside. Number 12. Gets it far side. Number 34. With the fadeaway, banks it in. The kiss uses the glass to get the sweet jumper to fall. Outside. Number two. Catches the nice lead pass in stride and hits the layup. What a nice pass. When he got to the bucket, the ball was right there waiting for him. Perfect timing. 155 left in the game. Gets it outside. Number 34 hands it off. Number 12 dishes to the outside. Baseline. On the mark with the fadeaway. He didn't need to use a fadeaway there, but you can't argue with the results. Number one inbounds the ball. I think these fans are getting excited, Vern. They're making some noise now. Skips it to the outside. Number 11. Passes cross court. Pulls the trigger. Converts the difficult shot. A little quick on the trigger there, Vern, with a man in his face, but he must have been feeling it. And it's a six-point game. Number one gets it top of the key. Swing pass outside. Number 34. Nails the baseline jumper. Oh my goodness, look at that move. I'm almost speechless. Gets it outside. Number 11 bounces it to the left side. Outside, dishes to the outside. Number 42. Beats it to the baseline. From 17 feet out, number two is called for a loose ball foul, and that's foul number two for him. 13 foul. Number 11 has picked up his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Number 11 has picked up his second foul. That's his second personal foul. Fifth team foul. Tipped away, but it's tracked down by number 35. Number 11 just picked up his third foul of the game. Sixth team foul. Number 35 inbounds the ball. Number one commits the foul. Bonus situation in effect. So they'll hit the line for a one and one. Gets the first, and that will give them a nine point lead. 
doesn't get the second. LaSalle carries it up. Number 42 gets it outside. That last triple off the mark. That'll do it. The Wildcats knock off LaSalle, 78 to 69. Now let's send it to the studio and Greg Gumbel with the Pontiac game-changing performance. Thanks, Vern, and welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with today's Pontiac game-changing performance. It's no secret that getting momentum on your side is one of the keys to winning basketball games. The Villanova Wildcat took off on a huge scoring run that all began on this play right here. This sparked the run that simply broke the back of the opposition. Thanks, Greg. For Bonnie Bernstein and Bill Raftery, I'm Vern Lundquist saying thanks for joining us for College Hoops on 2K Sports.